A critical pharmaceutical supply chain activity occurs in a distribution center where a variety of our FID tag pharmaceuticals are picked and packed for delivery to a retail store. The individual pharmacy orders are consolidated in shipping totes that then pass through an RFID portal where they're read and verified. This process is one of the keys to ensuring pedigree from the moment product enters this warehouse to the time it's received at the pharmacy. And it's a process that's well served by UHF Gen 2. I'm Chris DiOrio, and the demonstrations you're about to see will highlight the clear benefits of UHF Gen 2 for pharmaceutical applications. The demonstrations are especially interesting because they evaluate RFID performance in applications most relevant to pharmaceuticals, including reading tags on liquids, reading tags in close proximity, reading very small tags, and reading and writing a large number of tags in random orientations all at once. So with that, let's get started. We filled this tote with 100 items that we've tagged with inlays that feature Impinja's Monza Gen 2 tag chips. Note that the majority of the items have either metallic content, such as blister packs, or are liquids, such as saline. We'll be reading the tote using UHF's near field so the nature and makeup of the products doesn't really matter because the dielectrics in these objects don't absorb the field energy. And that's another benefit of using UHF in the near field. Because the biologics don't absorb the field, they aren't heated by the field either. In fact, we've measured the heating and found that it's reduced by roughly an order of magnitude when compared with traditional far-field UHF antennas. We've equipped our read platform with a single impinge Gen 2 Speedway reader connected to a pair of near-field antennas mounted underneath. An application running on the computer controls the demo by commanding the reader, collecting the data, and displaying the results. So let's see it in action. Notice that this solution doesn't require a metallic tunnel or other complicated stuff, just a single reader with simple antennas underneath the tote. As I place the tote in the well-controlled read zone, you can see we achieve a 100% inventory result. Speedway reads all 100 items with ease. In fact, the read rate has significant margin. Speedway can read the tags at a rate exceeding 1,000 tags per second. Because inventory reliability is the primary goal in any pharmaceutical scenario, we've set up Speedway to make many redundant reads, but only report each tag once. Reading each tag many times provides redundancy, so we don't miss inventorying a single item. And with only 100 items, we haven't taxed Speedway at all. So now, let's throw another 50 items into the tote. Once again, it's no problem. Speedway reads them all. UHF Gen 2 makes it easy. So now let's take a look at another common pharmaceutical scenario. We've placed 100 liquid-filled vials in this compact case. We've tagged each vial with a tiny item-level UHF Gen 2 tag mounted directly on the vial. The tag features Impinja's Monza tag silicon and impinges 9mm round button antenna design. We designed the button's form factor for high inventory reliability on small items, readable using UHF readers with near-field antennas. This time, the Speedway reader is connected to a single item level reader antenna that we call the Brickyard, a simple, inexpensive reader accessory that makes item level reading a snap. So let's see it in action. As I move the case of vials across the Brickyard, you can see we achieve a 100% inventory result. Speedway read all 100 liquid-filled vials with ease. But reading tags efficiently and reliably is only half the story. Speedway's write performance is just as impressive. The pharmaceutical industry demands fast tag programming, and the good news is that Speedway can write Monza tags at typical rates of 1,000 tags per minute. But it gets even better. With UHF Gen 2, we can program whole batches of tags at once, without having to physically isolate the individual tagged items. Let's see how it works. We've tagged each of these 100 bottles with our satellite item level tag. I simply place the 100 piece lot on the platform and issue the command to write the tags. As you can see, Speedway successfully programmed all 100 tags and it did it at a rate of more than 1,000 tags per minute. So there you have it. When operating in the near field using item level tags and simple reader accessories, UHF Gen 2 works extremely well on liquid filled products, items packed in close proximity, very small items, and also when reading and writing a large number of tags at once. 
UHF Gen 2 does it all today with no change to the Gen 2 protocol, no change to the Gen 2 reader, and no change to the Gen 2 tag silicon.